Hi, I'm Alan Leitner. I'm here with Expert Village, and we're talking about playing the steel pans and fitting into various musical ensembles or situations. One of the most popular uh, musical ensembles that you can play, find yourself playing with, playing steel pans, is a steel band or a steel orchestra, which is uh, what's commonly found in Trinidad and around the world these days. That's where you have the whole orchestra, the whole range of steel drums playing together, from the bass to uh, the guitars, the double seconds, which are what these instruments are, and the leads. It's almost like playing uh, a violin or a viola or a cello or the bass violin. Similar instruments, but different ranges. When you're playing in that situation, yeah, that's called a steel band, and you've got music, music that is written for the steel band. In that situation, if you're playing this particular instrument, you're going to play your part. You're going to fit into the whole musical scheme. And in this range, this would be, following with my example, this would be more like the viola in the orchestra. Not the violin. The violin would have the highest part. The viola would be playing a little bit lower. So, with that, you'll play some melodies. <laughs> Also play some chordal accompaniment to accompany the lead players or the violins. So fitting in with a steel band, one must be aware of your part. Typically playing steel drums, you're going to play rhythmic parts. You may play that is a rhythmic accompaniment to whatever the melody is. So being aware of that at all times is very important. Not to overstep your bounds, not to start playing solos, but play just your part and fit in with the whole orchestra.